What's in my ditty bag? What's up backpackers? I'm Dan and welcome to Backpacking Adventures. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, but make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. All right, so today we're gonna go over what is in my ditty bag. So you may be wondering, what is a ditty bag? Well, a ditty bag is just a bag or some kind of container that holds all those little items that you really don't have a place for in your backpack. It's just all those miscellaneous things. So some of these items could include a knife, a lighter, your electronics, your hygiene kit, just those little things that could be floating around in your backpack. Most people only have one ditty bag where they keep all their small items. I, on the other hand, I have up to three. And what's the reason? Well, I just have so much junk to take along. And if I'm not filming for YouTube, I can get my ditty bags down to two. So let's just talk about that. Why two or three? Well, as you know, you probably see from some of my other videos about how to store your food or any kind of smellable, you wanna make sure that you hang your food and anything that has some kind of scent at night so the animals or bears don't get to it. This also includes your toothpaste, your body glide, any kind of sunblock or chapstick or anything that otherwise has an odor. So the reason I have two is really because I'm lazy. I don't wanna have everything in one bag and then when I get to camp and before I go to bed, have to root through that, take out the smellables and put them in my food bag. So what do I do? I separate all my ditty stuff into basically two bags. I have non-smellables and smellables. As a matter of fact, my smellable bag I just keep in my food bag all the time, all day long, even when I'm hiking. That way, there's a less chance that I'm gonna forget. Now, yes, there are some exceptions. I keep my hand sanitizer outside of my pack in one of the pockets at all times so I can use it throughout the day. And the same, most likely, with my body glide. I keep it out so I have very easy access. But other than those two things, everything stays in its little smellable ditty bag in my food bag. So that way, at night, I just Put it up in the tree, don't have to worry about it. Now, the other two ditty bags that I have are just basically everything else and my electronics. And if I'm filming a YouTube video, while I'm out in the trail, I'll probably have extra electronics and gear. So it may not all just fit in one bag. When you get down to it, my three bags are basically my regular ditty bag that has items like my knife, my first aid kit, and my then my electronics bag that has all my electronics, my power banks, which if I'm going on a long trip, that's what takes up most of the room. And then my third is my hygiene kit with all the smellables. So let's go to the table and get into my regular ditty bag. So this is my regular ditty bag and I'm gonna go over these items, uh, not in any particular order. So one of the items I keep in here is my first aid kit. Now I'm not gonna go over all the items in here. I did do a video a uh, month or two ago on what is in here. You can check that out if you wanna know the details. Next item is just a small Dyneema sack that I use to put my camera in in case it rains. I like to keep that in my ditty bag because I do keep this one on the outside of my pack. I also keep my Nightcore NU25 headlamp in here. I don't keep this with my electronics bag because I keep that in my backpack. That way I have easy access to this. Next item, just a plain old Bic lighter and extra sport cap in a little tiny Ziploc bag in case I lose the cap on my water bottles. I keep a small compass. It also has a thermometer on it. And on the back, it has calculations on how to calculate wind chill. These are my straps to my quilt that I can strap to my sleeping bag to help cut off any kind of ventilation coming in from the sides. A couple earplugs just to keep some of those uh, scary sounds out of the woods. And also if I'm with anybody that snores, few feet of line. This is just used for hanging wet clothes or hanging my gear to dry out or in case if a guy line tears or rips, I can easily replace it. This is my little pocket knife. It has a, a knife. It has a nail file, little screwdriver, scissors, as well as a toothpick and tweezers. And my emergency slash repair kit. And I'm gonna get into this a little bit more. These straps are to my fanny pack. I don't normally connect it to my backpack. However, if for some reason I end up having a heavy carry or extra water where I need the support, I can connect the fanny pack to my backpack as a hip belt. 
I keep this emergency whistle in there. This is a repair kit for my sleeping pad. I have some Dyneema thread and a needle from Z-Packs. This is in case my backpack or any other gear tears and I need to sew it. Since all my gear is made of Dyneema, I have this strip of Dyneema tape as well as one square Dyneema patch. I also have this gear tape or tenacious tape. You can cut it out to what you need and I just use this for any kind of gear repairs. I have a pencil in case I need to write on a map or sign a register book where there's no pen or pencil. An extra carabiner, a signal mirror for obviously signaling for help. It also has a small compass on the back, but the main reason for this is I do wear contacts and this is a perfect mirror for your contacts and as well as looking for ticks. And the last thing in that kit is just some odds and ends with a needle and thread, an O-ring for the Sawyer squeeze, and some emergency waterproof matches. I keep everything for this ditty bag in this roll top Dyneema bag. Now we're gonna talk about my hygiene kit. This pretty much stays inside my food bag at all times. This is a pack of antibacterial wipes. I usually don't take this when I go on an overnight body glide. And like I said before, I do take this out and put this in one of my pockets on my backpack so it's easily accessible. Small stick of sunblock for my very pasty white skin chapstick, a small spray bottle of bug repellent, fingernail clippers that I use for basically toenail clippers, small comb, super glue for any kind of repairs. And again, this is not in with my other repairs because this has an odor. Toothpaste and a toothbrush that I had cut down. A few packs of wet fire. These are waterproof. They can help you start a fire. And my hand sanitizer. And along with a body glide, this is usually on the outside of my pack for easy access. And they all go in this Dyneema zipper, zipper bag that I keep in my food bag. So now let's talk about my electronics bag. So this is geared up as if I was going on a long trip where I would have to resupply and recharge everything. Otherwise, if I was going for just an overnight, a lot of this wouldn't go with me and I could just fit everything into my regular ditty bag. First in my ditty bag will be a power bank, various cords, for my iPhone, my headlamp, and my camera batteries, as well as to recharge the my power bank itself. The charging block, now again, this would only go with me if I'm planning on going for more than a week where I'd have to stop and resupply. All my cords go into this little white DCF zipper pouch. I know it says first day, but this is the size I wanted. Three extra batteries for my camera, and they go in this little tiny Dyneema pouch just to keep it organized. I have a multiple battery charger. This plugs into my battery bank and I can plug two in at a time. I have this little case for my extra SD cards. This is a little adapter that I can plug my camera microphone into my iPhone if I would ever have to switch over to that. I have an adapter so I can plug in my headphones and the charger into my iPhone so I can charge it and listen to the headphones or edit videos at the same time. An SD card reader for my iPhone so I can transfer from the SD card to my iPhone so I can edit it on the fly. A small Allen wrench because my camera has a few things attached to it that I can have a soft shoe and a tripod mount to it. So I keep this in case I would ever have to remove it or to tighten it in case it gets loose. A little microfiber cloth to clean my lens. Everything is stored in this roll top dry bag. So that's it for all my ditty bags and again, they're basically broken down into two categories, smellables and non-smellables, just basically out of my sheer laziness. So let me know how you store your Diddy items in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.